on air right now. <laughs> Hi guys, Tyler here with Explore Scientific. In today's show, we're going to talk about how to put together an IXOS 100 with PMC-8. So the main question we get a lot is, I got a mount, how do I put it together? That's what this whole premise of the show is going to be about. And there's going to be a little series on how to download the firmware, how to control it with an ISO device, an Android tablet, or a computer. That's what I'm wanting to show for you right, guys today. I like you. Dang Good it. Good <laughs> you son of a buck. Good Hold still. Holding. Here we go. You ready? Go for it. I'm waiting for you to calm down over here. Words over. Oh. Hi guys, Tyler here with Explore Scientific. Today we're going to talk about the IXOS 100 with PMC-8. We have just received a huge shipment of these beautiful babies and I'm going to show you guys how to put it together. The series is also going to contain how to use the iOS devices like an iPad, uh, Android tablet and how to control it serially and also update the new firmware that we just launched for the PMC-8 systems. Stick around, we're going to put this together. So we just got our box, and I've already got it opened up and everything, and what it comes with is one, two, three, four, five, six boxes. Now with this particular mount, it's the standard mount. <clears throat> this one is with the Bluetooth capable. We are working on it. It's not quite yet released, but we're in beta with it right now. So right now, I'm going to get out the tripod legs right here. It comes in a nice cylindrical box. Cylindrical. Standard box. I don't know why I said cylindrical. Now I'm just going to toss these off to the side for right now. But I'm going to at least tripod, and it'll come with your accessory tray as well. Don't worry, we're going to take everything apart. I'll show you. Old Tyler here is going to show you how to put it together so you're not going to be lost. So they do come in protective bags, which there's the accessory tray. Put it off to the side. Here's the tripod leg. Throw that off to the side. Now, with this tripod leg, it is lightweight and compact. We made this this way so it could be portable. You can put it on a backpack. You can literally carry it anywhere. And it's light, it's extremely lightweight. For nighttime, it has little neon or glow-in-the-dark strips. It also has this on the head mount too. We wanted to make sure that if you're out at a star party, that no one's gonna trip over your legs, everybody can watch where they're going. We wanted to make sure that your equipment was gonna be safe. The beauty part about this is the extend. Look at that, oh, it's beautiful. Just love that, how they just easily, easily fall out. The beautiful part about that is they don't completely fall out. So we're gonna extend it or spread out the legs. I'm gonna get my little tray here and you'll notice on the tray arms, that they're little notches. You also have notches on your tray. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna line up those notches with your legs. It's hard to do when it's up in the air. That's it. I have a locked, stable tripod. And that's it. So now we're gonna move on. Open my box back up. We're gonna get the head mount out. The head mount's in this bigger box here. It also comes with manuals. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you read the manuals. Never throw this piece of paper away. This is your registration. You can also do it online as well. But please, you need to register your product within 60 days of purchase. We gotta make sure that we take care of you and this is the way to do it. Remove the phone piece. Oops, that's just a box. Don't worry about it. Here's our head mount. Look how little this thing is. It's, it's wonderful. So I can literally just grab it. And I don't want to cut it open on live TV if I don't have to. There we go. And there went the counterweight shaft. And also the plug. And again it went. That's fine. I'll get it here in a second. So we have two clutches. Here's the RA clutch, which will sling the mount over. I'll adjust that here in a second. Let me get down here real quick and get this. So we have our polar scope plug right there. So underneath the, underneath the tripod legs, there is a knob and it's held in by a little E-clip so you don't have to worry about it going anywhere. So what I'm gonna do is turn this this way, put the mount down in there, 
I am simply going to secure it to the tripod legs. And I want to make sure that I have a nice, good grip. It's not going to go anywhere. We're stable. Come down here and get the, the counterweight shaft that fell on the ground. Put that in there. Close you back up. And we're ready to go. So I'm going to adjust the latitude bar right here. Now the latitude bar is to get the correct latitude depending on where you are in your location. Here in Arkansas, or Springdale, Arkansas, is where Explore Scientific Headquarters is, is at 36 degrees. Now I can't see the number, so we're going to turn it up to where here's the numbers along with a little pin or at least an arrow to 36 degrees. It takes a minute <clears throat> and that's okay. We're in no rush here. We wanted to make sure that you get up and running without any problems. We're gonna go right there, 36. Counterweight shaft goes right here in the deck. We're gonna twist till that's nice and secure. Toe savers on, the accessory tray and tripod and head mount all good to go, We're ready to go. So now I'm gonna get another box here. <clears throat> now important, and we're gonna talk about accessories as well for this particular mount. First we have, turn it here. We have the deck cable. So one end, We'll go right here into the silver outlined area. The other end, well, I gotta get it right. We'll go right here into the DB9 port or DB9 spot. Now what you're wanting to do is get this finger tight. You do not need to overbear it and get it completely tight to where you cannot get it off. Now what this does is this allows the board to communicate with the deck. That's the, premise, the, the purpose of it. We have our saddle here and here. And to release the clutches, turn there for the RA. Lock it back real quick. And turn here for the deck. And that's, that's it. So now, some accessories. It does come with a battery pack. There's nothing wrong with this battery pack. It will power the mount for most of the night. What I recommend, I mean this uses four D-cell batteries. That's a lot of battery. It really is. But I recommend what we sell here at Explore Scientific is the US Power Bank flashlight. Now what this is, is it's literally a power bank with a flashlight built in. You can at least get two or three nights out of this power bank and all this is is a hundred dollars. That's all this little thing is, is a hundred dollars. And it will power your mount for two or three nights and you're not spending a ton of money on D-cell batteries. I would highly recommend one of these, this as a main accessory. And when it comes with the power cable so you can power the mount and the battery pack along with a wall charging port as well. But Hank, we're gonna keep this right over here real quick. Let's go back to one of these other boxes. And this feels like the counterweights. You will come with two counterweights. Oh, come on now. One. Two. Now these are five pound counterweights. That's all these are. Now we've had people the max, the, the astrophotography payload capacity on this particular mount is nine pounds. We've had people exceed that by a lot. I would say some people put a eight inch SCT on these and those alone are 15 pounds. That little pin in there. I wanna make sure that I put my toe saver back on so in case the counterweight doesn't drop and smash my little pretty toes, that hurts. Okay, now, um, let me come back this way. I'm sorry, I'm turning my back to you. You have one filler box. And 
here's the box that I was looking for. This was the main one. Come on. Come on. All this is, and I got another piece I want to show y'all, is for, here's that battery. This will hold your battery pack. I'm going to put it right here on this leg. It just snaps right in, and you can put your power bank right there. Now this little handy dandy device is pretty small. Do your best not to lose it if you can. I'm trying to figure out a good way so y'all can see it really well. Now what this is, is the Wi-Fi channel changing device. What it's for. Say you're out somewhere secluded, you don't have any internet access, you can't do anything, and you don't have your laptop by, by mistake. You forgot it. What this will do is you simply insert it here, turn it on, Where? right here in the, turn this, right here in this little port, and this will switch your channels for you for Wi-Fi. If you have too much Wi-Fi interference, this will help you switch channels. Please don't lose this. This thing is very important if you can. And folks, that is the Explore Scientific IXOS 100 put together. Another main accessory that I would also recommend as well as with the power bank is the IXOS 100 azimuth adapter. Well, the azimuth adapter will fit on these legs and the heavy duty version. There's the instructions. We don't need them because I'm going to show you how to put it together. Well, not right now because they I got the want to keep it. But I would keep them, yes. <laughs> would keep them. So you will have the necessary adapter for the azimuth so you can get a proper polar alignment. You have the necessary north pin here, it's that little black thing right there, a washer and an allen wrench. Now I should have put it on before the head mount but I didn't, but it will go on first before the head mount does. Where are you at exactly? It will go literally right here, let me turn it on this side, it will sit right here, right underneath, that's where it will go. But again the instructions, don't throw them away, they fell out of the box. That's what I would use. Follow the instructions and you can easily get it set up. No problem at all. And folks, that's it. Now again, as I said before, we're going to have other shows where I'm going to show you how to use this with the iOS device, iPad. Um, Bluetooth, again, we're still working on it. The, we'll learn it how to upgrade the firmware used on an Android tablet and how to run it serially as a connection. Again, my name is Tyler. Explore Scientific. Hope you have clear skies and keep looking up.